Simba Sports Club and its sporting and management success under Tanzanian billionaire owner, Mohamed Duji. Welcome to the Kenyan Register production. Like, comment and share our work and thank you for the continued support. A brief intro of Duji and his purchase of Simba Sports Club. Mohamed Duji was ranked as the 15th richest and youngest African billionaire with an estimated wealth of 1.5 billion by Forbes magazine. The 47-year-old Tanzanian-born owns the Mitiel Group, a Tanzanian conglomerate previously founded by his father, and that has investments in manufacturing, agriculture, trading, finance, real estate and transport while operating in more than 13 countries. In 2016, he registered interest in acquiring majority shareholding in Simba Sports Club and transforming the already Tanzanian domestic giant into an African powerhouse. Winning the Confederations of African Football Champions League was his target then, and remained so. He eventually paid 20 billion Tanzanian shillings in 2021 to acquire 49% plus shareholding of the club, in an event that had Simba Sports Club trustee, Chairman Murtaza Mangungu present to confirm that all Fair Competition Commission had ascertained that all procedures and regulations were met in the transfer. Simba Sports Club's footballing success under Mr. Juji. The club was formed in 1936 and has a rich history, it boasts of 22 league titles in mainland Tanzania, five domestic cup wins and six Sekafar championships. Under Mr. Juji's ownership, they have won four league titles including one Sekafar club championship. They have reached the CAFCL quarter-final stage three times. Simba Sports Club Commercial Partnerships and Juji's Deep Pockets Globally, football is not a profitable venture. Oftentimes club owners dig deep into their deep pockets to finance club activities. Clubs are rarely cash flow positive, and some of their revenues have a growth ceiling like matchday revenue which most times depends on stadium capacity. Mr. Juji in a televised interview with local media admitted making financial losses of billions of Tanzanian shillings since he purchased the club. However, his view is that this childhood club gives him a lot of joy, especially when he sees its impact on the fan base and community. He has invested 50 billion Tanzanian shillings so far in the club by his own admission, and this is despite him stepping down from the club's board of management recently to allow a board manage the club's day-to-day -day activities. The club's previous owner went bankrupt, but Mr. Juji equates owning the club to him acquiring a private jet. Both would drain him financially but Simba Sports Club makes him happy especially as previously mentioned, its impact to the community. At the time of writing, Simba Sports Club has travelled to Ankara Turkey for three weeks of their pre-season preparations. The last two league titles have been won by their arch-rivals Yanga Sports Club. This travel to Europe is a rare occurrence for clubs in the East and Central African region most of whom depend on organizing tournaments within their borders amongst other league sides as a preparation for the season. Clearly Simba Sports Club is elevating the standards of the game. Under Mr. Juji, Simba Sports Club was able to sign a five-year sponsorship deal with betting firm, Mbet in 2011 worth a staggering 26.1 B Tanzanian shillings. The club also added 500 million Tanzanian shillings in a two-year deal for their youth team. In June of 2023, the club announced a two-year deal with Sanderland worth 2 billion Tanzanian shillings. A leading retail and manufacturing clothing brand. They will provide the club with training kits, matchday jerseys and travel apparel. As club CEO Ivan Kajula observed, the deal is a massive leap to the previous 1B Tanzanian shillings they previously had as a club. A clear indication of the effective marketing and strategic management the club is experiencing under Mr. Duji. Their ladies' team, Simba Queens are one of the most successful female teams in the Tanzanian Women Premier League alongside JKT Queens. Enjoying back-to-back -back success as league champions is an impressive feat for the girls and an illustration of the club's commitment to empower girls' football. A recent ranking by the Confederations of African Football, CAF, at Simba SC as the seventh best club on the continent. A just reminder and celebration to the deep pockets of Mr. Juji also illustrates that money well used and with the right personnel at management level can bring success be it football or commercial to any club. The onus is now on Simba Sports Club to wrestle the Tanzanian Premier League title from arch-rivals Yanga SC. Will they? 
Time will tell. This weekend, they hold their pre-season Simba Day, an event that has been sold out 48 hours ahead, solidifying Thea massive marketing. Here, they will unveil their new signings to their fans and play a friendly game.